I was reminded just now of a funny story. POW. <laughs> I was not POW. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. Um, I was in this bar once. This awesome bar called Mr. T's Bowl in Eagle Rock back in well, around 2000, 2001. Right? Probably 2001 after, after Amy left. I'm sitting in this bar and to the left of me is this uh, Native American guy and he's talk, talk, talking. And to the right of me is this white guy. I hear some nodding hill, it's starting to rain. These cars, Range Rover, all wood, right? So, <laughs> the, 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 the Native American guy is talking to the white guy across me, right? And the Native American guy said he was Airborne Ranger and the, um, the movie Black Hawk Down was th that that insurgents that that mission in Black Hawk Down, he was actually on that mission, right? That the movie was made on, and the Native American went on to say, "I was a POW, right?" And um, got hurt and got went to the hospital, Bethesda, whatever, or um, right, not Bethesda, but um, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Um, military hospital, the, the major one, and um, you know, not Bethesda. He said, uh, President Bush, George, you know, Bush Jr. came to came to shake his hand and everything in his hospital bed. You know, he said he was a POW, and the white guy to my right says, "Oh, how long were you a POW?" Right. And the Native American, of course, gets mad. He, like, almost jumps up and kicks the guy ass, right? How long is long enough? What a great answer, huh? <laughs> right? And <laughs> to say, oh, my God. You know, what, what, has, what has to happen in your life to make all the <clears throat> stars align to where you could call yourself a POW, first of all, right? Those stars lined up, and this guy seems to want to call himself a POW. <laughs> right? I, I bet it wasn't a civilized thing. Like, oh, you know, just sit right here. You know, just wait a few minutes. We'll let you go. We, we captured you. We'll let you go in a few minutes. Don't worry. Don't, you know, don't worry your pretty little head. <clears throat> you know. And then it reminds me, Merry Old England, Notting Hill. There's Julia Roberts, Notting Hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I actually live in, in, in England right now I don't have a return ticket right? and someone could ask oh how long did you live there and I get to say how long is long enough <laughs> you know for me even getting off the plane and getting out of the airport and being in England and, and you know walking on the soil and, and whatever everything about being here and not having a, one, a, a return ticket makes me literally living here I don't have an address right now, but I'm in the works of getting one. Um, gosh, this is so fun. What is this? Talbot, Notting Hill, oh my gosh. There's so many things in, in America that aren't here and vice versa. You know, so many differences, so fun. Hi, oh my gosh, it's not Christopher Walken, is it? No. You look like the actor Christopher Walken. That's so funny. Ow. Wow. Cool. Say hi to the United States. Oh, hi, United States. Thank you. <laughs> Christopher Walken. And, um, <laughs> we're in Notting Hill. Princess Story. Notting Hill Dental Clinic. Life is so fun. There's the Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero I was at charging my phone. I'm walking to synagogue on Shabbat holding this uh, crepe, no, this Hazarai. Um, Hokem, what? Moksa, there it is. Yeah, so fun. Oh my gosh, all right, signing off.